What's good, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Lace Life. Wave ain't surf. You do what you want when you pop. Yeah. You do what you want when you pop. My name is Tom Walsh. I'm 13 years old from the heart of Southeast Asia, more known as Hong Kong. I've been collecting for four to five years, hustling on sneaker groups and reselling. And I was always planning to make a sneaker collection video, but I haven't been satisfied. And I feel like now I've reached the potential of uh, where my sneaker collection is meant to be. Before I start this video, I just want to thank Mike for letting me feature on his channel. It's a real dream come true and uh, to share uh, my sneaker collection with you, I'm very grateful. Okay, so this is my main sneaker collection. As you can see, I have the drop front boxes, and uh, this is basically all Adidas, my favorite brand, and the brand that I've been collecting for the past three years. So, uh, we first got the OG Ultra Boost, which is my grill upon grills, my favorite sneaker. This is literally the best Ultra Boost I would have to say, and uh, probably in the top three sneakers of all time, in my opinion. You just got this prime nut upper with the boost midsole, which makes it all. And just the best part about the sneaker is uh, the back heel, where it's like purple, and then you got the black Ultra with the gold boost. That really makes up the sneaker. But yeah, the Ultra Boost has really revolutionized uh, the whole sneaker community and really has changed the game. Alright, and I do like white sneakers, so I had to uh, pick these up, and this was actually my first ever Ultra Boost. This is a collaboration with Kolar. So, Kolar and uh, Adidas have been doing really dope collabs. They even have their own clothing line, which is super dope. Um, but, yo, this is a clean pair. I cannot say enough about it. You just have green scents with uh, the gray back heel and then the Ultra Boost all in gold. You got that green sole, which is super clean. And I've worn these a lot, so they do get a bit dirty around the gray there's a big gray near the toe box and then on the inside which i think is a really good detail is that it doesn't say ultra beast but it uh, says color which is really nice and they need to do more collaborations uh they also have the orange pair which i really need so hit me up if you have a good price and we might make an offer size eight eight and a half either one all right and then the next sneaker is the white ultra beast with the black sole famously known uh for kanye wearing them uh, but as you can see, this is not even white anymore. It's literally yellow and gray. And uh, I've worn these a ton that the Ultra Boost is even coming off, which I truly hate that. These are really dirty, and I actually need to throw these in the wash. That's why the laces are off, because I need to clean these again. But yeah, this is literally my beater. I wear this everywhere, and uh, I need to pick up another pair. So uh, link me some good sites so I can... Um, you know, buy one for a good price because I've been seeing them all for 225 and I just want to pay a bit less than that. All right, and then one of my favorite Ultra Boost, and talking about the sole coming off on uh, the first sole of uh, the Ultra Boost, as you can see that it's coming off a bit and it's not sticking to this shape. Adidas really recognized that, and as you can see, you got this 2.0 Continental sole, which is really, really nice for them to do. So this is uh, the multicolor pair, and um, shout out to Dylan. He's one of my friends. If you watch my channel, he features on it a bit. And uh, this is the multicolor Ultra Boost that uh, was released a couple, I think, a couple, like a month ago now. And it's basically a full white upper with multicolor. And I actually know someone who has a sample with uh, the back heel that's white. But I do like the uh, I do like the red and then the white cage and that continental sole. You know, Adidas really listen to the people. So yeah, shout out to Dylan for this one. It didn't sell out in Dubai, so I'm so grateful for that, and shout out to him. Okay, and then I'm not going to talk too much about these, but as you can see, it is the Adidas Yeezy 350 in the Oxford Tan colorway. Before I talk about this in detail, I have to give a huge shout out to Raul Merchandani. Go hit up his Instagram, uh, Raul, so R-A-U-L underscore sneaker, but spell sneaker S-N-K-R. Yo, the realest plug in the game. He goes for great prices, authentic shoes, and it literally takes him no time to get a sneaker that you want. So yo, go shout, uh, go check him out, and uh, yo, he like shout out to him. He's hooked me up with most of these sneakers for a great price, and uh, you know, no better plug in the game than him. All right, and then uh, I have uh, these city socks, uh, which. You know, I doubled up on this white camera colorway because I am a bit of a reseller, I'm going to say that. So I was planning to sell one. So if you want one, it's a size 7.5, um, but they do run really big. So if you get these, they're at least going to fit like an 8.5 or a 9 uh, because, you know, they're just like 
they really fit like really big and especially the ankle doesn't really grip to your ankle unless you get like sizes down so yeah if you're size eight and a half near to nine maybe hit me up if you want these and the plug again Raul Merchant Donnie hooked me up with these two so as you can see this is the OG colorway probably the best colorway of the city socks it's really clean you know that's all I'm gonna say when these first came out and when they started releasing photos on Adidas originals these were just really nice uh, I had to get them and right after uh, the release Raul hooked me up with a dope deal and uh, you know no regrets with these I actually haven't worn them I've actually worn them once to the mall but they stay clean. I used Jason Mark on these. So, um, yeah, shout out to Raul again. Really dope sneaker and probably the best colorway to ever release for the City Sock. All right, and then this is where it gets interesting because I talk about one of my favorite silhouettes, which is the Superstar. And the thing that I like about the Superstar is that it doesn't resell for too much. So uh, I'm able to afford these and, um, you know, I don't have to resell that many sneakers or uh, have to do anything uh, to really get these. But I first want to talk about this Rockefeller shoe. And as you can see, this is from the 35th anniversary and that stamp means everything. And what also makes this sneaker is the Rockefeller record soul. And this sneaker is actually 12 years old. The fact that I was able to get a shoe from the 35th anniversary out of all the superstars that they're making, I really am grateful for this one and I feel like it's such a dope piece of history and a dope pair. Uh, so really great project that Adidas did with the 35th anniversary and shout out to this 12 year sneaker that released in 2004. Moving on to the next superstar, a kind of more new colorway and as you can see they did uh, collaborate with Undefeated and Bape. So they had this really clean leather that's A1. You got the shelter, which is a bit off-white, as well as the sole. Then you got the font in uh, gold with the camo scents. And you got Bape on this side, as you can see. And then on this one, you got the undefeated. And then this is probably one of the best superstars to ever release. You have the adidas superstar stan smith but this is a collaboration with uh concepts and as you can see it's a full prime knit upper so you're making the superstar which can sometimes get uncomfortable a lot more comfortable and you got uh this pattern which is super dope with that uh purple inside and then this pull tab which has this kind of uh stripe pattern which is super cool and then i actually haven't worn these because they run a bit big but i'm gonna keep them in my collection but look at that clean sole that's what's all about focus on me just for a bit okay so i kind of like uh to uh say that this is the old this is the new and then this is the modern so you basically complete the whole superstar history with these on to the next line i just want to say if anyone has a pair of run dmc's from the 35th anniversary please hit me up that has been one of my girls for a long time and I really need to find a good price on them just so I can add, to the, add them to the collection. All right, and then over basically two years ago, Adidas came out with this line uh, called the ZX Flux, which basically just featured their upper having kind of like a uh, pattern and it was using basically more of a different material. So uh, this is basically the ZX Flux. Uh, I know it's a bit dirty. I've been wearing these around a lot, but this is one from Jeremy Scott and really, you know, Jeremy Scott is an out-of-the-box director, and I mean, an out-of-the-box uh, designer, and uh, he really knows how to work with Adidas. He's bringing these dope patterns to the ZX Flux, and then, I know there's a bit of mud, but you got this traction that you don't really see on the torsion sole that's normally features on the ZX Flux, but yeah, shout out to Jeremy for this one. He did a real great job. And then, then you got uh, the extra butter one and uh extra butter really did a great collaboration they also did a zxtr mid which i have at the bottom of the collection if i want to show you guys later uh but this is just a cheetah upper and then you got kind of these lines which i don't know what it's made for and then it's just a more better cushioning because they use this like tubular material then you got this uh sole which as you know red black kind of translucent more black and then you still have that torso sole which does crease easily but uh this shoe is super comfortable i literally walk around these uh play sports and uh you know kick a ball around in these sneakers and they're super comfortable and then you got the shoe that basically started it all off for the zx flux and i've actually basically put these into retirement 
as you can see the laces have been basically taken off just because they're super dirty muddy but basically this is the multicolor prism and this basically started all off with the ZX Flux and you know these were selling out for 90 bucks reselling for 140 life couldn't get any better than that but yeah Torsten still but one of the best uh, you know uppers to ever feature on a DSU Alright, and so Adidas has done a really great job with uh, working with tastemakers, designers, and not only people within the fashion industry, but also, you know, uh, rappers, artists like Kanye West, Big Sean, and uh, they've all, they've done a really good job, like, um, th like Alexander Wang has a new line coming out about, you know, the kind of fraud within other companies making fakes of uh, his merchandise, but uh, I'll be picking up more of that collection later, and you can see that on my channel but uh, you do have loads of great collaborations one of them being Jeremy Scott I really take inspiration from Jeremy Scott and this shoe actually released with this one so uh, as you can see it has basically the same pattern and you might think this is just a tubular but this is actually more than that it's a high top and you kind of have this new lacing system with uh, the super clean uh, white and green you got this reptile skin with the strap and Adidas uses uses the strap a lot even with uh, the Yeezy line and then you got this Adidas brown logo which is super nice and people do not recognize what goes into the sneakers you can see the stitching on the heel and just the pattern like you cannot find this pattern in any other shoe like this is literally a work of art it's not just a sneaker and kind of one of the more out there sneakers in my collection you got uh, another Jimmy Scott but this is the JS Bones I know a lot of people think this is ugly but I just love the colors on these how they're using reptile skin it's kind of out of the box to use bones I don't really like that feature and then you got this kind of blue leather on the inside and kind of like a suede like pattern which is super nice but uh snake skin Reptile skin. And then, uh, and then the sole is super dope too, as you can see. You got this yellow sole. And it's kept up because I've actually worn these quite a bit. But uh, I really love how Jeremy Scott gets inspiration from you know stuff that's happened in his past uh, with the toys uh, that he used to play with when he was a child. You got these bones, I think, is inspired off a dog. But yeah, super super out of the box, and I don't you know I, I, I wear these from time to time, but um, it's not something that's like regular. Like you actually need to have guts to wear Jeremy Scotts. And then one of the better collaborators with Adidas, uh, he's done an immense job. Not just in the studio or uh, designing his next sneaker but all of it he's been a1 with it and um as you can see this is big sean metro high attitude and you see the snake skin uh pattern on it and you, and you wonder when you see the snake skin and this uh like floral pattern on it and you wonder what inspired him to put this on the sneaker and it's actually the inspiration of uh, making his album in uh, Hawaii and I feel like that's such a dope inspiration to put on the sneaker as a lot of artists go to Hawaii just to get away from everything and you got the gold ascent you know I like gold and uh, the Metro High Attitude just such an original uh, silhouette to do it with and he really did well on these I think they sold out like right away after they released okay and then another line that released during the summertime I think like two years ago was the SL loop line and one of my favorite silhouettes is the S L loop mock and as you can see this is the beige tan one uh, kind of more near like an orange color and then you got this black one which is super nice I really love this tan one it goes really clean with everything and uh, you know I get that homeless man you know inspiration but really clean and you know you can't get any better with this you can match it with anything and it looks a bit more high fashion which I like and then you also got this black one made with a super nice material. All right, and the, and then I'm not gonna uh, you know talk about anything too much on this uh, part of my collection, but I have two more sneakers which I'm gonna show at the same time. So it's uh, the SL Loop, and as you can see, uh, let's just talk about this one first. This is uh, the Red Reptile. It goes by the name of that, and they did a fantastic job on these. You got this like crocodile skin. And basically just like a reptilian pattern with the sense of uh, gold so it's kind of more like we celebrate this thing in Hong Kong called Chinese New Year and it goes really well with that and, and as you can see we wear our sneakers so yeah shout out to the SLU. 
Okay, and then uh, going away from uh, this side of the collection, I have three sneakers right here. And if you look at my channel, I'm more of a high-end fashion type of guy. So I do sneakers, but um, I'm more into fashion. And, uh, you know, sneakers kind of brought me into that industry. Uh, but so I have uh, three more high-end sneakers. And uh, as you can see, this is the Yeezy 950 and uh, the Pirate Black colorway. And a uh, really cool shoe for the winter time. Uh, just, you know, you basically need a duck boot in your collection to have, uh, you know, for the snowy times. You know, I know it doesn't snow in Hong Kong, but it can get pretty cold. And it's uh, good to have in your collection. Okay. okay, and then the next sneaker that not many people like, but I feel like I had to pick it up, was this Rick Owens Aqua Boot. And Rick Owens is a really, like, out of the box director, I mean, out of the box designer as well. And uh, as you can just see, the materials that he's using, the stitching that he puts into his sneakers, and then this sole kind of makes it all off. So I really like hiding this sock and just featuring this part of the shoe. Okay, and uh, for the winter time, everyone needs a high and sneaker, and this is from Philip Pieces. And the main thing about this one is it's like a speckled um, upper and also uh, sole. And as you can see, it kind of has like this suede going around the whole entire silhouette with this canvas uh, near the canvas material near the toe box and you got this light brown leather that's like really nice like it's like way above anything compared to Adidas or Jordan just really dope sneaker and uh, I love wearing these with three quarter pants uh, so yeah they, the, these shoes are like perfect because details are put into them the materials that they use are A1 and you know it's just probably one of the best you know uh, things to get into is higher end sneakers because they last longer and the more that you wear them the better that they look and then coming away from these high end sneakers I have this glass case uh, so shout out to Ikea for the still piece of furniture uh, but you guys are probably wondering why are these sneakers in a glass case well uh, these are more kind of sentimental shoes that I love having in my collection and uh, you know it kind of are the shoes that all started off for me uh, so I love having them in a glass case, just somewhere safe where I can see them and appreciate them and uh, just kind of keep them preserved. Okay, opening the case, it does shake a bit, which is a bit of a flaw from Ikea. I just don't like that noise. But uh, starting off, you can see that this is an Air Jordan 6 in the Olympic colorway. As you can see, it is basically coming apart. This is from 2001, so this sneaker is older than me. But yeah, it's literally falling apart, so I preserved the other one in a plastic bag. And uh, you know, this is when Jordan actually put effort into their uh, sneakers. As you can see, I have the Jordan card from 2001 for the Jordan 6 just super clean I love that and um you know if you just kind of look at these sneakers and see from 2001 you know what materials that they're using like touch that leather just feel that leather as you can see just the leather that they were using for uh, this Jordan 6 and kind of the effort that they're putting in and just like it's really a disgrace right now what Jordan is doing to the sneaker community. Like, of course, they're releasing dope pairs of sneakers and they're retroing breads and all this, but uh, they're not using the materials that they used to do that made their shoes, you know, the best in the game. And um, you know, you just got sneakers like this, and you compare them to shattered backboards and you know, breads. And I would say, in my opinion, that the shattered backboards don't come near to this Jordan Six. This is like the best leather that you can get and back then when they were doing it. And then so you got this wolf gray, right? Which has this tumble leather, which is not even that great. And this is what they were using on the Jordan 3s, which they paused producing it. And you can just, you know, it's just not up to par what Jordan's doing right now. You just gotta go back and use this type of leather. And you know, it's kinda, as I said, it's a disgrace what they're doing. And then uh, moving on to the next one, as you can see, it's a pretty weird setup right now, but um, I have Pokemon cards on the bottom, which is weird. And you might be asking about that, and I have a big Pokemon or Quaza over there. And uh, you're probably asking, why are Toro Bravos in here? Well, this is actually a reflection of my young childhood. So if you're a Pokemon fan, hit me up. But uh, not only if you just play Pokemon Go and you think you're you know, a Pokemon fan. I mean, like a legit watched Indigo League and all that. Um, but yeah, this was actually my first ever Jordan. And that's why I keep it in there. It's a reflection of my childhood. 
Uh, this when I got these, I thought I was balling. I thought you know I had the best shoe game, and um, you know I wouldn't think that I would got to all of this, and I'm so grateful. So yeah, also big shout out to my parents for buying these. You know, it's when I didn't really have that much resale money to kind of fund my sneaker hobby. But yo, yeah, I have to always give a big shout out to the parents for just kind of like starting off and then kind of putting me into more independent. Uh, to letting me resell and all of that, but yeah, the Toro Bravo is my first ever join. I'm always keeping them into, in, into my collection. Hopefully, I can preserve them so they're not crumbling like these ones. Okay, and then um, as you can see on the bottom here, you got the Mamba paper, so you know it's a Kobe Bryant sneaker. So you got this What the Kobe Nine, and uh, this is when he had you know this high top kind of a silhouette. And I think it had the inspiration from when he had tore his Achilles. So, um, yeah, super clean sneaker. I'm a bit disappointed that they didn't do two different shoes, like uh, what the like what a traditional what the is. But uh, nevertheless, it's Kobe, my favorite ever of all time, my favorite ever player, and that will never change. I have even the select card on a stand. You know, I never really appreciated him until he retired. Now, I wasn't able to really see him when he was wearing the number eight, uh, but you know, I'll always be a huge fan of him and I've been watching him over the years. It's just unbelievable what he can do. And just basically dropping 60 in his last game, that's crazy. And then we've come to the end of uh, the sneaker collection and I just want to give a huge shout out to Mike for letting me be on his channel. It's truly an honor to be on, uh, to feature on the sneaker life and it's really given me an inspiration to start my own. So please go subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll basically see all this stuff, more unboxing and uh, you know, just more of me. And uh, if you want to just see dope content i put a lot of effort into it so yeah go check that out shout out to mike again and i hope to see you guys later